Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive, I think, I don't care. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I'm clutching my pearls too. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, then this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here, no harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited for today's video because it's another new makeup of video. I love doing these videos. I hate editing them, but I love doing them because I get to have a lot of fun. <laughs> If you have never seen these videos before, you are in for a special treat. I do these videos once a month with my beautiful, wonderful co-host pictured here, Emily Hanhan. This is Emily's brainchild and I'm just merely riding her coattails. And basically what this is, is a new makeup release video, except we like to mix it with a little bit of bingo and a lot of adult libation. <laughs> They go hand in hand. Emily and I pull together a bunch of images and then we throw them in a random number generator and we just keep pulling images until we hit makeup bingo. So if you are ever interested in wanting to play, everything will be listed in the description box below. If you wanna make a video, that's even better. We also have a playlist. I don't know how to add things. Don't even ask me to because I am just stupid when it comes to that stuff, but you could Google it, whatever. Anyway, everything will be listed in the description box below along with Emily's video, which I encourage you to go check her out and tell her, say, hey, girl, hey! And without further ado, here are the possible makeup items that we might be talking about this evening. Or this morning. I don't know when I'm releasing this video. Whatever. Here's my bingo card for today. And with that said, welcome to motherfucking makeup bingo. Uh, uh. All right. You're probably asking, what are you drinking? You have a Starbucks cup. Yes, this video is actually, I'm so excited. It's sponsored by Starbucks. I know. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, you're garbage, we're garbage. Let's make garbage together. <laughs> and I was like, absolutely. I really love your strawberry refresher. I have a strawberry refresher up to here and then I just poured vodka in the rest of the way. Because that's how I play. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a good sip and then sometimes it's not. All right, before we get started, I need to put on my glasses because I'm getting older and <laughs> I need to look at my phone because that's how we pull up our images. You know, from this angle, it doesn't look that good, does it? <sighs> yep, to completion. All right. Oh, bitch, bitch. Oh my God, okay, first of all. So this is from MBA Cosmetics. I really, really like MBA Cosmetics. I think they make some of the most fabulous multi-chromes. They also make really good loose eyeshadows, which I am a fan of, but, uh, okay. It's the lemonade part that just makes it so tart. <laughs> Hi, okay. So here's the thing about loose eyeshadows. I think they're really pretty, but like I don't have the patience for them, but they're awesome. By the way, I'm in a swivel chair, so I'm gonna be doing this the whole time. I'm already annoying myself thinking about having to edit that. <laughs> I actually got to meet Agape Love Girl, this chick. Oh my God, by the way, can you appreciate that strong eyebrow I'm giving you? I wanna throw up. Anyway, I love Maria. She's fucking great. And I actually got introduced from the brand because of her. I wound up picking up one multi-chrome from them and I had been obsessed obsessed. So when I saw this was released, actually somebody tagged me in this the other night and was like, yo, pff, you gonna buy it? And I was like, pff, pff, already did. And <laughs> I actually wound up picking up this, I believe I actually picked up this set. Maybe I didn't get Luminosity, but I definitely got the other three. And I think I got maybe two other ones. I don't know. Listen, I'm a multi-chrome whore, okay? I need all of them. I'm so excited for these particular shades because they're a little unique to my collection. When I do my multi-chrome video, I will definitely be showcasing them because they are fucking fabulous. And on my bingo card, I think I can mark this as all the multi-chromes. I don't know when I decided to get an accent, but that's how today is gonna go. So buckle up. Yeah! 
All right. So I don't know about y'all, but fucking, okay, I pulled EBH. There has been so much holiday makeup right now. Like, uh, I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. It's enough, like I had enough. And I'm pretty sure everything has to do with COVID and the fact that things kind of got pushed back and whatever, and now they're just trying to cram as much fucking makeup in your fucking face as humanly possible because they're like, oh my God, we need to make money. And I get it, whatever, fine. Now, ABH has some dumb, first of all, I haven't seen ABH in a hot second. Where did my ABH go? I feel like last year it was like ABH every five seconds. They were rivaling ColourPop and now it's like, Tumbleweeds. Where art thou, my ABH? I don't know why I'm saying where art thou. Whatever. Anyway, it was like, where's ABH? And then ABH was like, bam, bitch, we got you for the holidays. This has to be the laziest fucking holiday, holiday release I have ever fucking seen because essentially what they released is Soft Glam 2. Now, I recently did a video where like me and my husband, we were just basically just making fun of holiday sets because we're pieces of shit. And if you like that kind of video, definitely go watch it. If you don't, go fuck yourself. My husband's a gem. At the time of filming, I thought, I don't know why I'm like, I thought. <laughs> When did I get so mug with candle flame? Literally, I only had this much. The fuck is wrong with me? This is what happens when you turn 35. You just, zero fucks, zero fucks are given. Okay, at the time of filming, I was like, oh, ABH is releasing Soft Glam 2, which essentially is six old shades and two new shades. I had a lot of people in the comments were like, uh-uh, bitch. Those two new shades are actually existing shades in the Norvina palette. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Who the fuck do you think you are, ABH? How call this soft glam too. I think I would have been okay with it calling like soft glam mini or something like that. But to imply it too, in my mind, it's like implying that this is going to be, um, you know, a sequel to the first palette. And uh, what the fuck? If that's not a fucking cash grab, I don't know what is. This is so stupid. This is so I hear you like makeup. Here, let's buy another fucking palette that you already have. Fuck you. And then, <laughs> You know, to make matters worse, there's also other things in this collection. You have lipsticks, which are fine. Listen, the basic bitch in me fucking loves it. And I'm like, yes, I will fucking happily eat all those lipsticks. Yes, please. And then the last thing looks like um, a tiny little eyebrow kit thing. And then it looks like a, a mascara. I think there's some good within this, but that motherfucking palette, it overshadows it. This could be good, but they just chose to be fucking lazy. And nothing makes me more mad than when someone's fucking lazy. <laughs> and that's what this is. Next. Yeah! So the next one we have is another holiday set list shit. I'm only actually gonna talk about the Guerlain stuff. Pat McGrath, I could fucking care less about, who cares? But the Guerlain stuff, Guerlain, I feel weird saying it like that. Is it, it's Guerlain, right? I know I say Guerlain, like such a fucking American piece of shit. Guerlain. <laughs> Guerlain, it's probably wrong too. Oh my God, I should shut the fuck up. Anyway, so Guerlain, Guerlain, why did that sound like, kind of like share a little bit? Like, oh, oh, all right, let me stop. Okay, so anyway, Guerlain is coming out with two different things. I don't know why I did that, but I felt like that was necessary. You have the Terracotta Bronzer for $54 and then you have the Meteorites Highlighting Powder Pearls. Okay, I always see the Highlighting Powder Pearls. Not gonna lie, they just look delicious. And I know if I had them in my possession, I'm definitely pouring milk in there. So we can't get that for me. Like that's gonna be a bad time. However, the bronzer though, I get so fucking sucked into this because it is so fucking beautiful. Like the whole packaging, the presentation, the fucking embossing, everything is fucking gorgeous on this. And then I remember, I remember how bad <laughs> the bronzer I had from this company. And I go, oh, no, 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 no. Save your money, girl. If money was no object to me and I really just wanted to buy things purely off of beauty, I would get this. Like, I, and without a fucking doubt, I would totally get both of these items. But what I love about the packaging is it kind of reminds me of like something you would find in a horror movie. It's like, oh my God, grandma and grandpa are dead. We gotta go clean out their house. So you go up into the attic and you're kind of just scoping out what you're really going to be taking. You know what I mean? Anyway, so you kind of find this like old antique set and you're like, oh my God, what is this? And you open it up, you see this object and you're like, Oh my God. And it starts to glow as soon as you open it, demons come out. That's what this is. And I want it so badly. But then again, I remember how bad this fucking product is. And I'm like, no, I can't. It is so gorgeous. Oh God. Luxury sometimes, oh my God, they fucking kill me with this packaging. Do I buy it? Fuck. No. Sorry, it took me a second. I had to snap myself back. Okay. 
Because of how shitty the product is, <laughs> based off of my experience in the past, I'm gonna call this pretty embossing basic makeup because essentially that's what it is. There wasn't anything really special about the bronzer. I can't talk about the um, fucking Fruity Pebbles thing, but it reminds me of Robin's eggs and I really want it now. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. All right, no. Next. Oh my God, look who I pulled. Oh my God, hey baby, it's Morphe. Cause I'm a Morphe babe. First of all, I'm happy to... <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm happy to see that Morphe stopped dilly-dallying and changing up their packaging and going back to what is tried and true, the thing that everybody all collectively hate. <laughs> The fucking 95 pan palette, or essentially three out of the five rows you don't fucking need. I love that. Oh my god. Anyway, so this is the 35XO, the Natural Flirt Artistry palette. Ooh. It's pretty. Like, I mean, they're beautiful colors, but like, do you have them? Yes, you do. You probably have this fucking palette seven times over. Bitch, you don't need this. Honestly, I just feel happy. You know, a lot of things have happened this year. I have been craving a little bit of normalcy. So it's just really nice to see a fucking palette that nobody ever really needs. Morphe, you might as well save 2020. <laughs> and you know what? Thank you. Thank you for bringing a little bit of normalcy in my day. With that said, I get to call this an oversized Morphe palette because that's essentially what it is. Welcome back, Morphe. We missed you. Yeah! The next thing I pull is from Kimchi. I love Kimchi as a person. I think she's fabulous. Like, fuck me up. I love me some Kimchi. Her makeup, on the other hand, not that good. I had a severe eye allergy. <laughs> from some of the eyeshadow palettes. And the highlighter palette that I did purchase from the brand, it wasn't that good. It was actually really disappointing because I thought it was gonna be like a poppin' slut and it was anything but, and that sucks. I, I'm not gonna lie though, this packaging is motherfucking everything. It's so fucking cute. It is giving me Polly Pocket vibes. It's reminding me of my childhood and honestly, nostalgia, Fucking cells, I get it. I just remember how awful it was uh, when the eyeshadow burned my face. And I don't know if I'm ready to commit into anything else. <laughs> so this is a no for me, but it's really cute. As for shade range wise, maybe light to medium. I don't really see it representing the deep all that well. Let's call this a complexion release with a terrible range because I feel like the range could have been better. Yeah, it could be better. Next. Yeah! The next one I'm gonna pull is from Jouer. Remember when people were excited about Jouer? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> no, I know that's kind of mean, but also kind of true though. I feel like I don't know who the fuck they are anymore. I don't know, like I don't hear from them very often, like as if they fucking call me. Hey girl. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Jouer had a moment in like 2017, 2018, you know, where I feel like everybody was like, Jouer. Did you see the skinny? Their palette's so good. And then they kind of just like flatlined. I mean, they make really good blush products. Uh. Some of the lip products are not that bad. Their eyeshadow palettes are so pretty, but I always declutter them because their quality is not that good. I feel like it's just one of those brands that I want to like more, but they don't make anything worth while or talking about. <laughs> Which I know sounds really fucking bad actually when you say it like that, but no, actually, you know, I take that back. There's one highlighter I've been lusting over for like a fucking year now that every time I see it, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you, bitch. And then a Sephora Rouge or VIB set, whatever those fucking Sephora sales happen, and I, I I'm about, I'm like literally like, mm, I'm gonna fucking purchase it. And then so I don't know why I'm like fucking pinching nipples on that one. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna buy it. And then it's out of stock for like months. And I'm like, who the fuck is so evil? Why is the world so cruel? And then I forget about it. And then Sephora Rouge sale comes around and I'm like, oh, bitch, you're mine. And then as soon as this fucking sale happens, it's like everybody just bum rushes to that product, but nobody mentions it in any fucking Sephora recommendation <laughs> videos. It's the weirdest thing. But anyway, one highlighter. One day it'll be mine, bitch, one day. In any case, their lip products are like, meh. It's, I mean, they're fine, they're all right. I don't know, I just wanna be more excited from this brand and I'm not. Let me know down below, what is your favorite Jouer product? Cause I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, huh? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like I feel like they did have a moment and now they kind of just fell to the wayside. Mm. I'm just waiting for that one release to like, like bam, fuck me up. On my bingo card, I will call this yet another lip gloss because essentially it's a fucking lip gloss sack. Next. Yeah! Oh. Bitch. Maybe it's because we're in a pandemic <laughs> and I miss Disney and I miss my best friend and I want to go to Disney World and I may or may not want to partake in some sort of pot brownie and go watch the Carousel of Progress fucking six times. I'm in my feelings. When I saw this release, I need to have them. As someone who is a Disney fanatic, I, which is very weird I know because I have an awful fucking mouth, yet I love Disney. I, lo I love it. I fuck like, oh, like I'm a theme park bitch. I really do love it. And and if I ever lived in Orlando, I would totally be a fucking Disney vlog channel in another life, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway, Estee Lauder collaborated with Disney. <laughs> and it's basically, I don't know what the fuck this is. $175? Fuck me in my face. All right. So you either can get a filled and refillable perfect matte setting powder. If it wasn't matte, oh, I would totally get it. Or you can get a solid perfume compact. When I remember when I was a kid, cute little story about me. My mom really loved Estee Lauder perfume. I saved my money and I bought my mom a little compact from Estee Lauder that had the perfume in it. And it was a, a special moment. I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I, oh God, I'm gonna cry. Stop, stop. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, I, oh my God. Oh my God, why am I crying? Stop, you stupid bitch. All right, anyway, so that's like a special thing for me. But $250, that, <laughs> I love you, mom, but fuck, bitch, uh-uh. <gasps> the under the sea one is three, oh, the perfume one is $300, but the, pop, the powder compact is $175. <gasps> Should I get drunk and buy it? It's matte powder, I'm never gonna use it, but who cares? Okay, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. <sighs> All right, so you have a Cinderella, a Cinderella, Cinderella. Who the fuck am I? Cinderella, Belle, Tiana, Ariel, Jasmine, Aurora, <laughs> I always have to say like Aurora, Aurora, Mulan, Snow White. Okay. The fucking Aladdin one's cute. Fine. Okay. The Little Mermaid one. Here's the deal. If it was fucking Ursula, bitch, this would have been bought and I would have been like, hey guys, like I got the Ursula one. But the fact that it's Ariel, Ariel's an asshole, okay? Don't even get me started about the Little Mermaid. I am still so pissed off about that, making fucking Ursula like the bad person. Ariel just wanted dick, okay? Call it how you see it, all right? All right, anyway. Tiana's fucking cute because I love the little frog. <sighs> Tiana's is really fucking cute and I love the little green accents to it. Cinderella is cute too because oh I love the clock. Oh I love the little mouse. Oh fuck! All right hold on. And then you have Belle. I like Mrs. Potts. Like I could fuck up a Mrs. Potts here but like the actual Belle compact. Nah I don't care about it. And then there's Snow White. Snow White's okay but I like the fucking apple. And then you have Aurora. Eh fuck Aurora I don't care. Mulan is cute. However if there was a fucking Mika. No that was Pocahontas. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, if there was a Miko compact, bitch, I'd fucking have it. All right, now. All right, fine, now. You know, I think Tiana is the best one. Tiana is the fucking cutest one, I think. I spent way too much tough fucking time on this. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I want it. If I'm drunk enough, I'll fucking buy this. I don't think I can call this anything on uh, my bingo card except for, like, Teresa wants to buy it, which, Emily, we should just, we should put a little square that says, Teresa just wants to buy this, because it's essentially what this is. All right, anyway. God. All right, next. Yo, stop the fucking presses, okay? I know I talked about this in my last video, but Natasha Denona is coming out with her holiday palette because I got the highlighter. If you wanna see my review on that, whatever, I'll link it up in the corner. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I don't like it. It's not good for uncooked chicken, whatever, fine. The little Zendo palette, it's cute, but whatever, we don't want it. What we want is this bitch right here. Oh God, it looks so good so good. This is me in a palette. I fucking can't stand it. I love it. I need it in my life. I'm so fucking excited for this thing. The, I can't mark it on my bingo square because we already did fucking multi-chromes, which is by the goddess NBA Cosmetics, but I would call this a multi-chrome. All of the multi-chromes because you do get th three. You do get three. <laughs> 
multi-chromes in this palette. Oh god, I'm such a bitch. All right, anyway. I am so fucking excited for this thing because I finally feel like that Natasha Denona is speaking to me. She's kind of like, shut the fuck up, everybody. I'm talking to you, Teresa. You have been such a bitch to me and you fucking yell about all my shit and now I'm going to shut you the fuck up and I'm going to give you this palette. Footnote to that, she's not giving it to me. I'm spending $129 for it, but whatever. Neither here or there at this point. I want this to exceed my expectations. I kind of have a feeling that it's not going to go well for me. And I hate that I already put that out in the universe, but that always happens to me. Anytime I get really excited about something, it sucks badly. <sighs> so I'm hoping that I'm wrong. But in any case, I'm very fucking excited. I cannot wait to have this. I know a lot of people are like, man, I don't care. I don't fucking care. I want it. <laughs> Finally, a palette that speaks to me. I'm excited. I hope to God this doesn't fucking irritate my face. But I really do love the liquid multi crumbs. I think they're fucking phenomenal. It's actually one of my favorite things that I got from 2020. So as long as that works in powder form, oh, bitch, all bets are off. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, anyway, we're gonna say yes, 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 yes. Can't call it anything else except we love you and um, I cannot wait for you to be in my hands. fuck is this? This is a hip dot. Hip dot uh, came out with the Tapatio collection. I don't understand. When this was announced initially, I was like, who the fuck is this for? Me and Alex kind of ripped it a new asshole in our Ulta video. So if whatever, I'll, I'll again link it up in the corner if I remember, if not, whatever, who cares? But I'm kind of confused on who this is meant for. Like, who is their demographic? That they're like, you know what, guys? I think people are going to lose their shit over some hot sauce. How about putting some spicy in the crease? Like, who the fuck is this for? To me, feels like a very huge, giant cash grab. <laughs> is Tapatio doing that badly that they're like, guys, no one's buying our fucking hot sauce. Let's invest into some makeup. You know what I mean? Like, granted, they're no Cholula, all right? Cholula is king. Yeah, I said it. Fight me in the comments, bitch. Cholula is king. Get out of here, Tapatio. If this was Cholula, I would be fucking all over it right now. They just wanted to make a quick fucking buck because they thought it'd be really kind of funny and kitschy and like, oh my God, people are gonna really love it. This is a cash grab. This is the biggest cash grab I've ever seen. Hip Dot fucking does like these really weird collaborations, I feel like. If it's not SpongeBob, right? I think, did they do a fucking Powerpuff Girls at one point? I feel like they were doing the cartoon shit for a little bit and they were like, no, let's switch gears. Let's fucking do food. Again, packaging wise, it's really cute, but I'm just kind of like thrown off like what the, who the fuck what the fuck is this uh, oh shit. we're gonna call this a fucking cash grab and we're gonna move on and if any of y'all have this tapatio palette let me know how it is down below because i am curious who knows maybe i'll get drunk and buy it i don't know no promises all right no promises next yeah! charlotte tilbury so charlotte tilbury has come out with a lot of i don't know why i got like really kind of like saucy with that one i was like Charlotte Tilbury. It's all pillow talk, baby. <laughs> okay, so Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a lot of stuff, and this is, I guess, through like Sephora and Beautylish. There's also a couple of other things like mixed in on this uh, image. It looks like Kevin Aquan, which does anybody care about Kevin Aquan? Not about the person, just about the makeup in general. Asking for a friend. I don't know. I feel like I never hear anyone talk about Kevin Aquan, except when he did those weird bombs. Nobody has ever mentioned that brand ever again. And okay, anyway, not gonna lie, I have been lusting, lusting over that fucking um, what the fuck is it called? The film star Bronze and Glow. I think Hannah from Smoky Glow always says that that product is not worth it, and because she says it, makes me want it even more. So when I heard that they were releasing a mini size, I was like, hold the phone, bitch! I need to fucking get it, and I did get it. Have I used it? Not yet. <laughs> Like, I still have so much more other makeup I have to go through. But anyway, I am going to play with it because I just, it looks so perfect. So that one I'm like totally on board for. I think that's really cute because Charlotte Tilbury's prices are usually like a fucking arm and a leg. I'm kind of happy that they're doing a little bit like cheaper options, like smaller stuff. Like, that's cool. But then it also kind of makes me question, like, they're pushing out a lot of stuff at the same time. So are they just trying to sell their brand or just trying to make their brand look like everyone's buying them? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of weird. Like, kind of like Pat McGrath is doing that a little bit too and it's like, really just fucking weird but all right fine charlotte tilbury is coming out with a bunch of different sets and it's honestly a lot of it is the same fucking set from the last few fucking years and then of course they have this fucking weird crazy it's not i don't even think it's an advent calendar no it is it's the bejeweled beauty chest advent calendar for 200 dollars. okay that thing not gonna lie i always look at because i'm like 
because it looks so fucking cool. It looks so opulent, and I feel like when you get it, it's probably just really just fucking cheap cardboard. <laughs> and then you're like, why did I spend $200 for this? The reason why I didn't pick it up is because the products that kind of you get with it, I wasn't really into. They do have another set that has that fucking titty blush that I really, really fucking want. I look at it and I'm like, I need to have it. I need to have that titty blush. You know what? During the next Sephora Rouge sale, I'm going to buy a titty blush. I'm going to fuck. I'm going to shut up and just buy it because I have been looking at that for quite some time now. But anyway, they have a huge set of stuff where it looks like you get, how much is that thing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. So this thing right here, it retails for $375. You better be fucking me for that price. Oh my God. I expect to be fucked and I expect to have breakfast the next day. For $375, are you fucking out of your mind? Every looks the same. So I'm basically paying almost $400 to have, oh, because it is the pillow top collection. Yo, that's crazy. Anybody actually buy this shit? Fuck, I thought the $200 advent calendar was enough, but shit, $400 for that? Fuck me. Okay. You know, I feel like at this point, I know like Pillow Talk is like the bread and butter of the brand, you know what I mean? It's kind of like NARS with orgasm. It's like that one staple product, but like, I feel like, I swear to God, and it, maybe this is just like, just fate, I don't know. But every time I do a makeup bingo, it's like I always pull a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk something or other. And it freaks me out <laughs> because there's so much Pillow Talk. Like you're not even beating a dead horse anymore. You're beating the cement because the horse is gone. Come out with something new. How many times can you fucking sell the same product over and over again? Fucking, whatever happened to innovation? Whatever happened to people just doing something new? What the fuck is this? Fuck out of here. Oh my God. I'm getting the fucking willies on this one. I can't. I don't think I can call this one except, uh, do we have beating a dead horse? You know what? We'll just call it a collab or product that won't die because Pillow Dog won't die. Again, I know I said this joke in the past, but when the world is ending, which I'm pretty sure we are fucking on the cusp of, bitch. Okay, we're on the cusp of it. I swear to fucking God, you know what's gonna be left? Twinkies, cockroaches, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. And the cockroaches are going to be wearing the goddamn pillow talk. You think COVID's bad? <laughs> it's like, no, it's gonna, it's just gonna be cockroaches with fucking pillow talk and eating Twinkies. Yeah, it actually doesn't sound that bad after all. Anyway, all right, next. Oh, Huda, Huda Beauty, hi Beach. Okay, Huda came out with this, what the fuck is this? This is complexion products. This is the Faux Filter Skin Fetish. Oh, Skin Fetish. <laughs> skin Finish Foundation Stick. Okay, so for $39, you're getting a stick. <laughs> a foundation. It comes in 39 shades. We love that for her. And the range doesn't look terrible. So the range I feel like could be a scotch better. <laughs> You could kind of like give a little bit more deeper shades in the back there. I kind of feel like there's like a, a decent uh, middle, like there's a great middle, but it could be deeper. So what is this? What, what the fuck is this? Okay, so basically it's a natural finish. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I think I actually might be of interest of this fucking product. Last up to 10 hours, swipe it on, build it up, long wearing, waterproof, humidity, and sweat resistant formula. Oh bitch, I gotta try that. Because I love when fucking foundations say that shit because it's usually fucking bullshit, but all right, fine. And it's fragrance free, vegan, waterproof. Okay, all right, you know, I'm gonna fucking try this. I'm, I'm actually very curious. What is my shade? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I'm intrigued by the claims of it. I have never had any sort of complexion product from Huda's. I've had Huda's eyeshadows and they are terrible in my opinion. I've had the highlighter palette and that also was terrible in my opinion. So I haven't really been a fan of the brand, but I'm intrigued to try the foundation because I really look for things that have like a natural or a radiant finish. So this is of interest. Plus I love the claims that it doesn't transfer it's sweat proof blah 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 because um i have been you know leaving my house a little bit more because you know otherwise i feel like i don't know 
what reality is. And I really have been looking for a lot of makeup that I'm able to wear it while having a mask on and all kinds of shit. So I'm always looking for complexion products in that range. This is of interest of me. I'm curious. Now they also are selling a couple other things. They have this water jelly hydrating primer. I could care less about that. And then they have a foundation brush for $33. Foundation brush looks stupid anyway. So I'm definitely going to try this. I'll let you know about it in the future because I'm so curious. But this looks interesting now. I'm probably going to pick this up during the Sephora sale, to be honest. Because fuck it, if I can pay 20% off. <laughs> Sold, bitch. I'm excited. I'm gonna call this foundation again. Foundation again. Although it's not really again because I feel like not a lot of brands have been coming out with foundations. So this is kind of like a welcome change. Oh my God, is this gonna be the first product that I like from Huda Beauty? Who the fuck am I? I don't know, I'm drunk. Next. Yeah! Oh my God, Smashbox. <laughs> hey girl, hey. This is Lancome. I am so thoroughly confused because this looks so much like Smashbox. It's disturbing. And I don't like Smashbox. I feel like they make inferior products. So, mm, not gonna lie that the highlighter looks like everything. It's very pretty. <laughs> Actually, let me backtrack here. I have never tried anything from Lancome, meaning like I've never tried any of their eyeshadows or their highlighters or anything like that. I have tried the primer or their mascara primer, which is actually fucking good. Highly recommend it. My coworker told me about it and it fucking, I was like, oh, okay. And I tried it and I was like, oh shit, this is actually pretty fucking good. And I never tried anything else from the brand. I always feel like I see things from Lancome, but I'm never like, oh yes, I need to have it. I don't know, there's just something um, exciting about the brand. I kind of feel like it's a little bit aged. My dick doesn't get hard for them, okay? Like I see them and I'm just like, nope, it's a fucking innie. <laughs> It's not an Audi, all right? But this kind of piques my interest, but at the same time, it's like not enough for me to purchase it because I feel like it's just, mm, all right, whatever. I don't know, let me know down below if you've ever tried any of their eyeshadow formula or their highlighter or any sort of complexion products from this brand. I'm always curious about, maybe I should try them during like one of like a, a drunk review video or something like that, I don't know. But the highlighter is fucking everything. It's very beautiful. But there's no swatches, so like I can't really say if it's good or not. I don't know. Don't really know anything about it. But the eyeshadow palette looks very fucking boring. It kind of looks like a neutral with a pop of blue. Nothing too fucking snazzy. Lipsticks look like they're fucking glittery, which is kind of weird. They're crystal lipsticks. So they're creamy, luminous satin finish. Okay. So it kind of looks like there's glitter in there, but I guess there isn't. I don't know. I feel like I'm like, ooh, and then give me fucking two weeks and I will totally forget about that. <laughs> so there's also no pricing here. Oh, it's only available in Canada. Oh, oh, so what the fuck am I talking about? My Canadian babies. If you do purchase this, let me know how you feel about it. But um, yeah, it actually also looks a little bit like the Clay de Poe holiday shit too. Maybe it's that like lavender green kind of feel to it. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, eh, I'm bored from this. I think I'm gonna pass. We're gonna call this probably with the neutral with the pop of blue and uh, be on our way. So actually, no, we're not gonna call it that. We're gonna call this a fucking catfish. No, not even gonna call it that. We're gonna call it a fucking <laughs> Actually, what am I saying? We're gonna call this a copycat because I originally thought this was fucking Smashbox. So this bitch is a copycat. So fuck out of here, bitch. Next. Yeah! So the next one I'm gonna pull is from our Lord and Savior ColourPop. God bless ColourPop. <laughs> Full disclosure, I saw this palette, I looked at it, and I thought to myself, this is a got to have item I got to have. So then I messaged my good friend and ColourPop aficionado, makeup just for fun, and she was like, yeah, you should buy this. And I was like, all right. It twisted my arm enough. And honestly, I regret fucking nothing. The fact that I also even got it while it was on sale, I feel like I somehow won the lottery. <laughs> It's so weird because I haven't really found any sort of ColourPop palette to kind of move me enough to buy. I usually am annoyed at ColourPop because they release far too much shit. And don't get me wrong, in this makeup bingo, I think we have at least three or four ColourPop options because those bitches don't fucking sleep. But this is the one that I was like, oh, oh bitch, I need to have you. There's just something about it that is not super unique, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel like I don't have a lot of cool tone options, especially for a, like a big neutral palette. And maybe it's because I'm 35 and maybe I just accepted the fact that, you know, uh, I fucking peaked already. <laughs> 
and it's gonna go downhill. You know, can I tell you something fucking, this is really funny actually. My good friend on here, Tara Lynn, if you don't know Tara Lynn, go check her out. Fucking, I love her. She's like legitimately my first friend on YouTube. You know, like she's my ride or die bitch. And when it was my birthday the other day, she was like, hey, just want to let you know, since you turned 35, it all goes downhill. I'm not joking. That's when I got adult acne. And I was like, what the fuck? And I started feeling my face that I felt like my pimples fucking popping up and I'm like, oh my God, this is it. This is it, this is the end. Anyway, so that's kind of why I purchased this palette. I have nothing else going for me, okay? I might as well just live out my neutral days. So I'm excited. So I picked up this palette. I'm waiting for it to come here. I don't know when the fuck it's gonna be. ColourPop takes forever with their fucking shipping, so who knows? So maybe you'll see a review, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just hear about me crying about it on Instagram, who knows? But in any case, I'm excited. So I think this is the first color pop release which is so fucking disgustingly boring it's fucking in with an e i love it i can't wait to fucking have it and be disappointed i'm so excited <laughs> i'm here for it i never feel that way about color pop so uh thank you for getting it right thank you for um making me feel alive <laughs> Or dead, actually. I don't know. I love it. Can't wait to fucking play with it. It's so boring. It's so stupid. It's so neutral. It's me. I love it. All right. Next. Yeah! Oh, hello, Miss Piggy. So the next one I pull is actually from Seattle, London. And ironically enough, it's what I have in my possession. So I'm actually wearing the blush right now and I have a little spongy here. Actually, I got the full set. So fucking funny. Okay, here's the deal. When it was first announced, it looked like the whole set. You got the blush palette. You got the, I thought it was a lipstick. It's actually a fucking lip tint. You got a sponge and I thought you got a mirror with it. And then when it actually came and I realized I didn't get the fucking mirror because that was an additional thing. I was kind of pissed off because I really love the mirror, but I don't want to spend $20 on it. <laughs> Listen, I love Miss Piggy. I'm fucking Miss Piggy. I get it, fine. My husband does a wonderful fucking Kermit impression and I needed to fucking have this. So what you get in this collection essentially for $59 is that you get the blush palette, which is what it looks like right here. Four little shades. These are all cream blushes and you get a sponge and you get this lip tinty boy thing. So I want to do a full review on it, but whatever, I'll give you my fucking first impressions because this is the first day that I played with it. This I was actually confused because I thought it was going to be an actual fucking lipstick because it's pink. And I was like, oh shit, like it's, this is gonna be like a fucking My Name is Barbara lipstick, but it's not, it's a fucking lip balm. It's a comfortable lip balm, you know, it's fine. But I thought it was going to be something more, but that's my own fault because I'm fucking stupid and I don't know how to read. So <laughs> we can't blame Siate for that one. The next one is the sponge. Fucking adorable because I love that it's a little piggy nose. Like, I mean, come on, look, this is fucking me, okay? because I'm a fucking pig and I love that. Sponge wise, it's okay. Not my favorite sponge. Um, it's definitely spongy, but when I compare it to like my pawpaw sponge from Shop Miss A, which listen, if you're gonna buy a fucking sponge, buy this because it's literally a fucking dollar. This is fucking great. This one is okay. It's all right, it's fine. I think it's just a novelty of it. It gets the job done, but at the end of the day, I love my fucking pawpaw sponge over this one. So whatever, fine. Now, when it comes to the blush palette, meh, like I think it looks okay. Granted, I also have fucking studio light, so kind of keep that in mind. It does apply very nicely to the skin. However, I felt like on one side, product was kind of missing, so I had to kind of like keep going back. I don't know, like it was weird. Like this side, it looked fine, but this side, I felt like there was like chunks missing. Of course, I'll give like more of like a thorough review in the future, because I'm still playing with it. But when I swatched it, I wasn't impressed because it felt like there wasn't really a lot of pigmentation. However, when applying to the face, I used the finger. No, I actually didn't use a finger. What the fuck am I talking about? I used this Bristles Beauty brush and I applied it to the face and it worked really fucking well. So the colors that I have on my face today are actually these three. So these two and then this one. I kind of just did like a whole fucking mixing thing because I just wanted to kind of get an idea of what the product was going to be like. It's not my favorite cream product. It's okay. But again, I want to play with it a little bit more before I give you my, you know, real fucking review and thoughts on it because I really don't like doing initial reviews because... You know, you kind of need time to fucking play with some of these products. I picked it up purely just because it was Miss Piggy and I thought it was really fucking cute. And I was like, oh my God, I could fucking relate. Like, that's my queen. Like, <laughs> that's why I picked it up. I don't know, like, Ciate overall, like, I don't think I've had the best experience with the brand. I feel like I've had purchased things and then I've quickly decluttered because they're just, I don't know, the quality is just not the kind of quality I look for. So I am intrigued to keep playing with these products because, like, right now, like, it's probably the best Ciate product that 
that I have tried, but it's not like fucking amazing. I feel like I have cream blushes in my collection that I like so much more than this. And it's just kind of like right off the bat. So I'm kind of hoping that it's just initial thoughts and the more that I play with it, I'm going to have like an appreciation for it. But right now I'm kind of like, man, I'm on the fence. With that said, I don't think I could really call this anything because, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a cash grab, but we already fucking gave that to Tapatio. So uh, we're just going to call it nothing. Yeah, she's kind of cute in person, but uh, just be forewarned if you are going to buy the set, the fucking mirror does not come with that. So don't be an asshole like me and <laughs> not fucking read the fine print. Next. Yeah! So the next one I'm going to pull is for... <laughs> Hold on, I need another fucking drink. Hold on, I need another. All right, so I had to get a refill on this because I drink. I'm fucking drunk. All right, where was I? The next one I'm gonna pull. <laughs> All right, the next one's from Kylie Cosmetics. What the fuck is this? Like, I have such secondhand embarrassment from the photos because here's the deal. I'm not gonna shit over. I don't give a fuck. The photos remind me of two things. One, they kind of remind me of these condoms that I used to see called Rough Riders. It would be in all the bodegas where I lived. And it was always like some girl in some fucking leopard outfit like... <coughs> That's one. Two, it kind of reminds me, and I don't know if this is like dating myself or whatever, but do you remember a long time ago when like the world existed and when you would go to the mall? Not like the Sears portrait studio, but it would be like some photography studio. It'd be like McCannon's, like photography studio. I don't know, whatever. It would, it would be like some fucking random person's name. And you, they would always be like, oh, you can get headshots. Like you can get like headshots for your modeling. Like, oh my God. Like it was all bullshit, right? And I think they were just kind of like geared towards like teenage girls, which is really creepy if you think about it, but fine, whatever. So I always think about it because in those photography studios, in the front windows, they would have like all the images plastered and it was always like some girl like <laughs> like I don't know why <laughs> she had a churro you know what I mean she just always looked like she had like some sort of like fucking cowboy hat on she'd always be like laying down it was kind of like pre-hustler kind of it was so fucking weird so that's what these images remind me of they're so strange it's so strange I don't understand why or I don't know this is just a New York City thing when I was in high school in the mornings where you would go into school there'd always be like these like porno cards on the floor I know it sounds fucking weird but it would always be like these like 1900 number <laughs> I don't know it's me it's a girl that fucking looks like this on it like call today that's what it reminds me of I am so thrown off by this fucking packaging it's so like 90s porn it hurts oh god it fucking hurts anyway so this is the leopard collection <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it <laughs> I feel awkward. I feel like I'm gonna be on a list. Like I'm too old for this. I don't know. That aside, the palette is just not interesting. I feel like this is the kind of same palette that kind of comes out every holiday time for Kylie. It always is like mostly neutral with the pop of like, you know, like that red shimmer here or there. But for the most part, it's like the same shit. So I feel like the last palette we talked about, you know, like a her and her cartoon titties. And now it's just like, <laughs> Her being on like a Rough Riders commercial. It's just a fucking, it's just so weird to me. Like, you're somebody's mom. I don't want to shame anybody or anything like that. And I know I sound like I'm shaming somebody, but it's kind of just like, like I think about my mom doing that. And I'm like, no, I'm like, don't do it, fam. Also, it's kind of like just a weird palette to have. I don't know. It's just, it's so fucking strange. It's so strange. I'm going to say no to this collection. I don't know if I can call it anything other than tee hee. <laughs> Cause it's kind of weird. Oh no, no, I can. Cause it's the basic as fuck neutral palette. See, I'm sorry. Like her Rough Riders is trying to confuse me, but no, this is a basic as fuck neutral palette. Cause I feel like essentially that's kind of all what Kylie Cosmetics says. It's the same palette over and over again. I feel weird. I feel like I'm going to be contacted right after this video and they're going to be like, you're going to have to omit this footage. <laughs> like I just feel so uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Anyway, next. Yeah! All right, the next one we're gonna pull is M -m 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 Mitchell. Maybe I'm drunk, but this doesn't look so bad, okay? This doesn't look so bad. Maybe I am so fucked up right now that I'm like, you know what, This pa I need to have this palette. 
<laughs> I don't want both of them. I don't like I'm not into that but I'm into the one that is the camouflage colors like I'm into that whole color story like it's such a weird kind of like grungy fucking dark color story I'm like I'm really in for. I like the packaging on the other one. It kind of reminds me of oh my god I don't know if anybody even knows who the fuck this is but it was um it was a band called the Unicorns. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And I feel like the artwork of one of their album covers looks like the cover of that palette. The one with the clouds and shit. Anyway, if you don't know who the unicorns are, they have this one song that's like, I was born a unicorn. I, yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of it actually. Okay, weird. Okay, anyway. It's kind of ugly, but it's so ugly it's cute. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like that kind of whole fucking thing. I'm kind of into it. I kind of really want to try the palette. Not gonna lie though, the swatches are fucking atrocious because it looks like somebody doused their arm in some sort of fucking makeup wipe and they were like, all right, let's just fucking swatch it because this is the only way it's gonna look like it's pigmented. So that kind of scares me. And I know that because some of the edges of the shadows, you can tell look saturated. And I know this because when I do my videos and anytime like I'm swatching a palette that say there's multiple rows, I only do like one row at a time on my arm. I usually use a makeup wipe to like kind of wash my arm and I like dry it off and then I do it again. But sometimes there's still some sort of like, you know, like wetness or saturation to your arm. And it has that weird like outer edge kind of darkness. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking weird. But, but the colors though fucking interest me like nobody's business. So I kind of want to try it based on that. Like I said, only the one that's the camo one. The other one I'm like, oh, I mean, it's cute, but I'm just like, I'm more interested into the camo one because of like how fucking dark it is. Now, the rest of the collection is kind of funny. <laughs> well, first of all, the little fucking lipstick thingies, uh, what, what the fuck are they? Blurch. <laughs> oh, they're liquid blurches? They're called blurch? Wait a second, is that a typo on trend mood or is it actually called blush? I didn't watch any videos, so I do apologize if I'm if I'm like speaking out of my ass, which I fucking probably am because look at me, come on. But anyway, these blushes look kind of interesting. I kind of want to fuck up that orange blush. Yes, please. Anyway, I kind of want to try some of the blushes. The brushes look awful. The brushes look very cheap. You know when you like can eyeball something and you're just like, no, that's going to fucking feel very scratchy on the face. I kind of feel that way with the brushes. I don't know. There's something about them, how shiny they are that I'm just like, no, that's going to fucking hurt my skin. I can't. I can't fuck with it. The logo too is kind of weird because it kind of looks like Urban Decay, but not really. So like I get it that it's supposed to be an M, but it kind of looks like Urban Decay but not really. Like ye old Urban Decay, like it looks weird. The mirror is kind of weird because it kind of reminds me of like something you would find kids arts and craft thing where it's just like, oh, like let's make this fun thing on a stick. And like, you're kind of like cutting it out very crudely. That's kind of what his logo on a mirror reminds me of. I'm not really into that. I feel like that could have been done a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. Then the other thing is like a makeup bag, which I mean, it looks like a nice makeup bag. I'm not someone that's a makeup artist. I'm merely a makeup enthusiast. So like a kit like that, like plus where the fuck am I going? And I can't even fucking travel, okay? I am bound to my house in New York. So with that said, <laughs> that's kind of lost on me, but it looks pretty nice though. So I guess if you are a makeup artist, it looks looks pretty fucking cool. So I'm actually kind of interested in one of the palettes and some of the blushes or the blurshes. I'll fuck up some of that. And you know what? When I first saw it, I was like, oh shit, this is ugly, but I'm drunk. And I, maybe I got beer goggles or vodka goggles on at this point. And sometimes butterfaces need love too, okay? It's last call, y'all. Are you gonna fuck or not? <laughs> Cause I am. And I'm about to fuck me up some of this palette. So this is gonna be coming out very soon actually. October 25th, what's today? Ooh, the 23rd. Ooh, that means Sunday. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna go buy it. I'm gonna buy it. It's gonna be glorious. And I'm so fucking excited for it. Be on the lookout for that review. And I hope to God it's good. I never tried M -m 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 Mitchell's stuff before. I never tried the Beauty Bay palette. And I never tried it because I uh, got the Nikki Tutorials one and I hated it. So I never got anything else from Beauty Bay. But here's hoping it's good. <laughs> good luck, sir. Ooh. Next. The next one I'm gonna pull is from my baby, my little sweet angel baby. This is the Shroud Cosmetics X Butte Bean collaboration. All jokes aside, I love Butte Bean. 
I love Betty Jean, I love her. She is so sweet, she's so adorable. We got to collab one time I think last year for Hollow Bean, which is so fucking, it's so, so fucking cute. Anyway, I got to collab with her. She's just a very lovely person. Anytime I've ever had to communicate with her, she's always been very, very sweet and just fucking nice. And it's rare to find just genuinely nice people. And I feel like she is just the epitome of like one of the nicest people that I'll probably ever meet in this fucking YouTube stratosphere. I was not aware that she was having a collaboration with Shroud when it was announced I lost my shit it was like I was a proud mom I was like oh my god like my baby she's on stage like I got so excited for her because this is amazing this is a huge fucking deal and she got to fucking make a palette make a palette like that's fucking fucking bananas she got to make a palette with a really cool fucking company shroud cosmetics first it didn't click right away I didn't realize that I already owned a palette from them in the past which is the creepy cute palette which is one of my favorite indie palettes of all time so I was so fucking excited for her to partner up with a really cool fucking brand to make this super fucking spooky ass fucking palette which to me out of all the Halloween palettes or Halloween-esque palettes that have been released this year a lot of them have been kind of fucking duds or like you know Rebel Rouge really made a cool palette the BH ones were kind of fucking weird the Hocus Pocus one don't even get me started I don't even like Hocus Pocus fuck Hocus Pocus I didn't like that palette fucking Nightmare Before Christmas I fucking hate it. I know, I know. Cancel me, I get it. But when I saw that she was making this palette, it was like, this is fucking phenomenal. It's, it's amazing. It's very grungy and dark and just perfect. It's just perfect for the fucking season that we're in. It's perfect for the holiday. And it's the kind of palette that it's not just meant for Halloween, but it's, if you're an edgy person, like this could be your fucking palette year round. And trust me, I'm an edgy bitch. Okay, I like looking like a fucking swamp creature. So these colors speak to me. I'm so happy for her because she's such a fucking nice person and she deserves nothing but the best. And I cannot wait to have this palette in my hands. So with that said, I am getting this palette. This is gonna be sent to me in PR, but I will always give you my full honest review because that's just who I am because I have nothing to fucking lose or gain from any of this stuff. But I am just so proud and so happy for her. And I really wish them nothing but fucking love and success because this is fucking great. Like this is so fucking pretty. With that said, I'm just, I'm over here being like a proud fat mom. All right, just a proud fat mom living through my daughter's dreams. I love this so much. I think they actually started shipping some of the palettes out, but I haven't really seen anything else. I'm definitely going to be reviewing it, so definitely be on the lookout for that. With that said, I'm gonna call this, yep, that's a witch, tricky, or Santa themed release because I'm gonna kind of dub this as like the end all be all Halloween palette because that's essentially what this is. This is like the best fucking Halloween palette ever. And yeah, I'm excited. And with that said, I hit motherfucking makeup bingo and I'm so excited because I'm really drunk. I promised myself I was gonna do this sober and then I completely forgot. Let me know down below how you feel about some of these makeup releases. Are you gonna be getting them? Are you gonna be missing out? Let me know because I love hearing from y'all. Definitely go check out my good friend on here, Emily Hanhack. Tell her I said, hey. She's an adorable little peanut that needs to be protected at all costs. Please definitely go check her out. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. And to all my patrons, thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, gross, garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for being so supportive. I love you all. If you wanna know what's currently on my face, which honestly, I don't even fucking know what's on my face anymore. I think I just put so much glitter on because I just wanted to be a galactic slut. I'll try to remember and I'll put it <laughs> in the description box below. I also have some Halloween merch. So if you are interested, it's up until November 1st and then it'll be gone forever. And of course, remember to always wash your hands, wear a mask, please vote, and just be kind to each other. Okay, this is some really trying times right now and we should all be uplifting and supporting each other. And with that said, I will see you little pumpkins later. Bye.